Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at the Cloud Adoption Framework. So this is a white paper to help you plan your migration from on-premise to AWS. At the highest level, the AWS CAF organizes guidance into six focus areas. We got business people, governance, platform, security, and operations. And this white paper is pretty high level. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't get into uh, granular details on how that migration should work, uh, but gives you kind of a holistic approach. And I believe that probably through the AWS uh, Amazon Partner Network, there's people that specialize in using this particular framework to help organizations move over. And I believe that AWS has professional services through the APN. But let's just kind of break down what these six categories are. We're not going to go too deep into this, um, but let's do it. So the first is the business perspective. So these are business managers, finance managers, budget owners, strategy stakeholders. So it's how to update the staff skills and organizational processes to optimize business value as they move ops to the cloud. You have people perspective, so human resources, staffing, people managers. So how to update the staff skills and organizational processes to optimize and maintain the workforce and ensure competencies are in place at the appropriate time. You have governance perspective, so CIOs, program managers, project managers, enterprise architects, business analysts. So how to update the staff skills and organizational processes that are necessary to ensure business governance in the cloud and manage uh, and measure cloud investments to evaluate the business outcomes. We have platform perspective, so CTOs, IT managers, solution architects. So how to update the staff skills and organizational processes that are necessary to deliver and optimize cloud solutions and services. Security perspective, so CISO, IT security managers, IT security analysts. So how to update the staff skills and organizational processes that are necessary to ensure that the architecture deployed in, in the cloud aligns to the organization's security control requirements, resilience, and compliance requirements. We have operational or operations perspective, so IT operations managers, IT support managers. So how to update the staff skills and organizational processes that are necessary to ensure system health and reliability during the move of operations to the cloud, and then to operate operate using agile ongoing cloud computing best practices. So this just taps the surface of what the CAF is. Uh, and I think for each of these, they actually have a more detailed breakdown. So, you know, business is gonna break down to even more uh, uh, finite things there, okay?